All right. Whenever you're certain that the offense is going to pass, uh, if you really want to stop the pass, in addition to inserting a fifth defensive back, you can go ahead and insert a sixth defensive back. All right. This video is going to introduce the dime package. Now, you could do this at any point on the field. All right. And when you do this, you, as a defense, are limited to a D or S alignment. Now how would you go about doing it? Of course you would have to remove just like you do in the five defensive backs D3 would have to leave the game and the nickel back which here was Molden would enter the game. Now to go to the sixth defensive back the D7 which here is Ninkovic would have to leave the field and Sergio Brown is my six defensive back he would enter the game and when I do that now my defense would drop to 35-35 and I'm playing the New Orleans and they're in their three wide receiver so they're 46-44 so they're going to be an A index in the pass A index in the run so you say Greg why are you even doing this well when you go to a insert a six defensive back on a pass play, you read the play results two lines below the card. All right, so if the play result on the quarterback's card was a 10, well, I would then read that as a 12. Now, I would do this for all pass plays with the exception of a screen pass. Okay, read it two lines below. And the main thing you have to realize is when you implement the six defensive back, all of the rules associated with the five defensive backs stay in effect. What's that mean? It means the reduction rule comes into play. So for this, we see that New Orleans is an A index. Well, we know that it's going to be lowered by one. So let's say the intended receiver is a B receiver. You'd read that as A, but the reduction rule lowers that to B. And then you read two lines below. Now, of course, you have exceptions when you're learning that they don't change much. If the card number is 13, because that's the half fumble number on a quarterback's card, you use it. If it's 21 through 36, you use it. Again, you never count 13 in line changes. You know, you skip over it. So if it was a 14, you don't, you read it 12, 11. All right. And if your line change would take you through 21, you use 21. Okay. Now, if it's a run play, if it's a called run play, you're going to read the play result two lines above. So if the running back's play result was a 17, well, you're going to be reading that as a 15. And remember, you're still using all of the rules of, a, of the five defensive backs so you're going to raise that index by one so if you were in A, B index you'd raise it to A and you would add a yard to any positive gain. Okay, you see there's always um, risk and rewards here. Uh, if, the, if the runner's card is a, again a one, two, three, four no line change. You use it. If it's a 15, no line change. If it's 31 through 36, no line change. You use it, okay? Uh, if the line change would take you through 15, you stop there, you know, because that's that's a great run play. If it was a 17 and you raised it by two, you're going to stop at 15, or I should say if this play results 16, instead of going to 14, you stop at 15. And, of course, on a screen pass, there is no line change.